Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Speed Build Sunday, the day of the week where I build whatever I want, because I can. That's never, ever, ever, ever gonna get old. So this week I decided to make a ooh, period piece. I, don't, I hope you guys didn't hear that. I just ran straight into my desk like a dumbass. Um, but yeah, a period piece house. Um, when I call period piece houses like houses that exist or existed in a certain time period. So like I've made really old houses that I imagined didn't have electricity at the time. This one, er, so those houses didn't have like TVs, computers, proper electricity. But this house, it's a vintage, mid-century modern family home. I imagine that, so there is a TV, oh no, there's not a TV. I lied. Maybe this family couldn't afford a TV. Maybe that's a possibility. TVs, when they first came out, were both huge and expensive for families. But it has a beautiful kitchen that's so retro. I built shelves, and I'm so proud of the shelves. The shelves in this kitchen are like amazing. It's one of like my proudest moments in like Sims building history. I, I it's re I. Googled photos because I was like, what do mid-century modern houses look like? Because I was looking for inspiration first first of all. And I ran into a mid-century modern home and I loved it. It's like the outside. So the outside came from a picture and then the inside I just Googled what, you know, they looked like, what houses would look like. So I just typed in mid-century interior vintage. Because there's like mid-century modern now and like it obviously looks a lot different than like back in 19 what would this be like 70 I would think yeah this would be like 1970 1960 yeah for sure 1960s 1970s maybe it's a huge difference style wise it's still the same thing like it's named the same thing but it's different so I decided to make it vintage so therefore old and I think it turned out great. For some reason, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take because I I built it and I thought I made it really quickly, but when I went to put it and edit it and like shrink it down, I like to keep it within the early 20s area, but it was like so long, so I kept cutting it and cutting it. And for like a what this is a two bedroom house, three bedroom Two bedroom, a nursery, and two baths. And it's pretty s small compared to other houses that I've built, but I felt like it just like was so long for some reason. But whatever, I managed to do some movie magic and shrink it down, so yeah. It turned out pretty great, I think. I think the videos again might be out of order because I think we're gonna shoot into building the kitchen and I actually weirdly furnished the outside first and then went into making the kitchen so yeah and by furnishing I mean landscaping I landscaped the outside first and then went into like the kitchen living room and the living room is huge I did not realize how big the living room was until I already like put until I put the furniture in there and I was like wow there's a whole bunch of space that I could fit another dining room but whatever. Um, you live and you learn. Uh, do I have stories for you guys? Oh my god, yes, I have stories. Oh, this made me so angry. Like, I'm usually not an angry person. I don't get mad. I'm a pretty, like, chill, go with the flow person. Sometimes. I do like to be in control, but I understand that there are times when I cannot be in control. And school is one of them. So, where do I start? Mm, okay, so I've talked about my chemistry teacher, which is awful and does not know how to properly teach the class. I have to tell you, he, I had like nothing against him until the other day, literally yesterday. 
because today I'm recording this on Saturday. It happened on Friday. I went to class. We took quiz number four. And so we took quiz number four and he handed it back to us. And it's a Scantron. So he scans it through a machine and it reads whether it's right or wrong. And we were going over the questions in class and I was noticed that like one of my questions was wrong and it would have it's 15 problems and the shorter the test is the if you get one or two wrong it makes a huge impact on the like score so it would have brought it from a D to a C which I would have absolutely loved but and this is making me so angry, like I'm thinking about it, it makes me very angry, and I told like 15 co-workers, which is basically everyone that I work with, and, okay, so I raised my hand in class and I was like, uh, professor, I don't know his name to be honest, I really don't know his name, and right now I don't care to know his name because he really made me angry, and I was like, professor so-and-so, um, it says that I got it wrong, but the answer is C, and I did mark C. Can you take a look at it? And he's like, yeah, just tell me after class, write down on your Scantron regrade problem number one. Because it was literally the first problem I got wrong, but it was supposed to be C. I mean, that I got right. I got it right, and I put down C, and the answer was C, but the machine didn't properly read it for some reason. And so I went up after class, and I was like, oh, I hey, hate Professor So-and-so. He told me to speak to you after class about my, uh, regrading the Scantron. He said, oh, okay. And he looks at it and he's like, what is this? And I was like, the test that we just took was number four. And he's like, oh, you didn't write the quiz number on the Scantron. And I was like, okay, do you want me to write it down right now, like in front of you? I didn't say like in front of you, but I would have done it in front of him, so it's not like cheating. And he goes, no, I'm not going to grade it. And I was like, because I didn't write my the quiz number on it? He's like, yeah. So <laughs> I was really mad. And I w looked at him and I was like, okay, so in the future, make sure I write down my quiz number. He goes, yeah. And I said, thank you. And I walked out because that is complete bullshit. It's not like, okay, he handed it back to us with everybody's okay he handed it back to me with everybody's so it's not like all of a sudden i grabbed another one i have never wrote written down quiz one two or three previously why does it matter now and third of all you there's no eraser marks on it whatsoever so it's not like i erased it and like wrote down um anything so the there's the date. I wrote the date on it. The date that we took the test. Or the quiz. Whatever. And so he knows that I took it on the first. Because that's when we took it. But for some reason he was like, No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to regrade your thing. Sucks to suck. I was so mad. And I'm so mad at this professor. He's probably... I don't want to say he's the worst professor. But he's pretty bad when it comes to professors that I've had. And I've had, like, really bad professors. Like, professors that make me not want to raise my hand in class because they'll make you sound stupid. And actually, he now that I said that out loud, he is one of those professors that, like, makes you feel stupid. And I've noticed this with, like, not just me. It's not like he... I've raised my hand in there once and he made me feel stupid. And it, and it, it, it was his fault, too. I'm so riled up right now, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk about this. He was going over some type of, like, bond. Some like It was, was an electro... It was, like, some bond and, like, chemicals and how they're made. And I was like, okay, so will I have to remember... I raised my hand and I was like, okay, will I remember... Do I have to remember to do this? No. He said in class, you are not required to know how to make it. And so he showed us... He spent like 15 minutes showing us how to create, like draw out the, the bonds and everything, or the chemicals, whatever it was, and how they're related. And I raised my hand in class and I said, okay, see those two like double bonds? 
is that like something that I'm gonna have to have? Like, what if I forget? And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, those two bonds right there, will I have to like make sure to write that down? And he looked at me and he's like, well, you're not required to know that. And my question is, if I'm not required to know that, why are we spending so much time learning it? If it's not going to be taught, why do you teach us things we don't need to know? He sits there and he teaches us things that we don't need to know, and then he expects us to go into the textbook and read from the textbook and learn from the textbook. I am not paying him to not teach me, to buy a textbook and not teach me. Because I pay him to, like, teach me the material, not to have me go buy a book and me learn from the book. Does that make sense? Yeah, and he's done that to other kids before. Like, yesterday, I watched him. He has this, like, voice that makes you sound stupid, that makes you feel stupid. Like, this kid raised his hand and he was like, Oh, the, I have a question on why is it this answer? And he goes, Well, I pulled that straight out of the tech, uh, out of the notes. And he goes, Okay, but I know. And he said, This is why I thought it was this. And he was like, Yeah, look at your notes. And I'm, that's why would you talk to kids that way? I'm saying kids, but I mean, we're all like in our early 20s, I'm gonna guess, because this is a higher division like class. But still, it's like, these we're also people. Just because we're, like, adults doesn't mean we're not people. You should be nice. Like, how it's, it's so much easier to be nice than it is to be mean to people. I should know. I spent a lot of my life just being mean to people. Because I could. And that was my excuse at work, was because I could. I was mean. And I don't understand why he does this to, like, the future of America. And then he told us that... Just, I mean, he brought a another teacher to teach the class one day, and he it was our guest lecturer, and she was amazing. Like, she, compared to him, is an amazing teacher. She stopped, made sure we, like, followed along with the notes. She did not speak, like, down to us like he does when we ask questions. I didn't ask any questions because I was just taking the notes, but she was taking, like, she had the notes, she brought her own notes, and like, and by notes I mean the PowerPoint, and she was like going slow and she's like, does everyone have it? Okay, next. Him, you know what he does? He goes, blah, 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 click, blah, 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 click, blah, 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 click. He doesn't give us time to write down the notes. So it's like I have to go on my free time and do it. So instead of like focusing on what's coming out of his mouth, I'm like s rushing to write down everything. And then I have to go like sup supplement those notes with whatever he wants us to read out of the textbook, which is the entire thing. Mm, he's just not a good teacher <clears throat> in general. He's just mm, bad, 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 bad. So bad. Speaking of teachers, I think one of my not one of my, my yoga teacher read my uh, notebook, because in our yoga class, I don't remember if I spoke to you guys about this, usually this is kind of like a video diary to me where I just talk about like what's going on in my life, but I feel like my yoga teacher read my journal, because in our yoga class we do meditation, where we like meditate and like self-reflect about our life and we write down stuff, we meditate as in like being stop we stop thinking we try to put everything out and just like breathe and then we do like physical meditation as in like stretching and like yoga stuff and well, uh, what positions do we do like plank warrior one warrior two eagle stuff like that if you're taking yoga you know what i'm talking about and one day I left my notebook in class and every day we like write down and she tells us to write down stuff that we want to improve on, stuff we don't want, er, not stuff that we don't want to improve on, stuff that we want to improve on and stuff we want to give up and I always put writing down, biting my nails and I'll think of something else to write because biting my nails is something that I've been trying to give up for years and can never seem to do. And so, I, and she told us, I'm not going to read these journals, so you can write whatever you want. 
I took that as a, okay, I'm going to be real deep with this journal. I wrote down some real intense stuff in there. Like, I don't want to go into it because you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, Dilly Sim suffers from suicidal thoughts. And that's not really true. It's just like, when life... You know what? I'll talk about it a little bit. And it's not healthy, and I know it's not healthy, but it's something that I do, and I'm trying to kick it, and it's been something on my, like, list of, or not list of things to do, but it's been, like, on my notes, in my notebook as something that I want to improve on. And every time my life gets stressful, I'm like, oh my god, I just prefer death. I say that, and I'm like, why can't God just kill me instead of me waking up early to go to work tomorrow? Like, I'll say stuff like that. And so I know that's not healthy, and I know that's not good, but I write it down anyways. And so I left my journal in class, and the next week we were writing stuff in our journal, and my professor was like, you know what? Today, let's just write a, a note to ourselves, just telling us that we're, like, doing good, and that we are, we're trying. And then write a note. Start it like this. Write your name and say... You are doing the best at blank. And also write, I love you. And I was like, weird coincidence <laughs> that... Oh, and then I also like beat myself up in my journal because uh, one of my journal entries, she was, it was, of course, the topic was, what do you want to improve on? And I put down, I want to figure out who I am without needing a man. Very simple, straightforward. And then I went to class the next the next time. And she was like, okay, look at your journal and like reflect on it. And it said, I want to figure out who I am without a man. But funny thing is, I went on a date the night before. <laughs> so I looked at it and I wrote down verbatim, you dumbass, you failed. You just had a date last night. And I think she might have read that stuff because to go from a repetitive, what do you want to improve on, to tell yourself you're great, you're doing good, and you love yourself. After she was in in possession of my like journal for, I want to say it was four days. That's kind of like suspicious. I mean, it could totally be coincidence, 100%. Totally could be coincidence, but I have a feeling that it's not a coincidence. Who knows? What do you guys think? Let me know. Maybe I'm- I always, like, look for things that don't exist. That's why all of my relationships have failed. Because every time somebody's like, oh, you know, you're cool, I'm like, you wanna marry me? <laughs> you wanna have kids? <laughs> Just kidding, that's pretty extreme. That is actually super extreme. I'm not at that level yet. I- I know how to read a room. Ooh, I love the backyard. The backyard is so great. I love the basketball court. I never put a basketball court in any of my builds, but I think it turned out great. 10 out of 10 would recommend downloading this house because this house turned out great. And the thing is, this house, even though it's like a quote unquote period piece, you could. I, I know it's too expensive. I know it's too expensive for your Sims to live in. Everything I build is too expensive because the thing is with building, you want to make it look attractive when you build it, or when you take screenshots of it. Because if you don't, if you don't furnish it, it looks empty. When you don't decorate, it looks super empty. So you have to like over furnish and you have to over decorate, especially over decorate. You can under furnish but over decorate and it look great. But In doing so, you also make the house too expensive, because decorations cost money, obviously. And landscaping costs a lot of money. So, yeah. But if you want to, you could easily buy this house, or download this house off the gallery, put it in the game, delete a lot of the decorations, because dec this house is mostly just expensive because of decorations and landscaping. And then, you could easily move in a family, even though it's a period piece, move them in and play in today's world, in the modern 21st century. 
Yeah. There's a small pool, if I remember correctly. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm, there's a small pool. I don't think my words are matching up to my video because I think my video is like behind when I'm like telling you what I'm building. But you know, it's cool, it's whatever, it's fine. Um, do you guys have any like horrible professor stories? Please let me know in the comment section below because I want to know that I'm not the only one with a horrible professor. Especially like, I've heard though that at the school that I'm at, all like the chemistry teachers and all of like the science people, or science professors, science department, there you go. The whole science department is just like awful. I kind of want to go back to junior college just so I could take the, ki the chemistry class that I need because I had a really good biology teacher. If, I, if she teaches chemistry, I want to teach, like, learn from her because she did great. She was just an amazing teacher. I'm going to leave this part off here. Let me know what you think of this series. Let me know what you think of my house. If you want to download it, it's in the gallery. You can, it's called... Night. No, I was going to say 19. It's called Mid-Century Vintage. Or Vintage Mid-Century. Mid-Century Modern Vintage. Or it's also in the, com in the description bo box below. So check it out. Like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things. And I will catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.